Step 3. Aspecting. Ignore the past. It cannot rewrite itself, but you can manifest it in new ways. Change the memory's mind. We call this aspecting. Start by assuming that there are no assumptions. You are not a product of your past. You are a product of your future. This is how people will remember you. So make that future now. Caress it in the ever-changing present and don't look back. Remove the rearview mirror from your car if you have to, so you can only look forward. Yes, those wing mirrors too. You should only see what's ahead of you. That's the path you want to follow. Forward, up or down if need be. And if it helps to have a story of where you came from, to help other people respect you, invite you to functions, or sleep with you, then make up the past that you deserve. We call this aspecting, and it will help you create the future that you have always wanted. Start with a simple exercise. Remember an embarrassing incident from the so-called past. Relive that experience. Bring it into the room with you right now. Right now! Here it is. It's happening. Yes. How horrible. Now, do something different. There, see? It didn't happen. Feels good, doesn't it? You are now free to reframe that memory and transmogrify your own personal history. Think of a friend who habitually experiences disappointment. Come on, you know, everyone has one. You got him? And have you ever considered why nothing ever goes right for them? You know, don't you? They perceive negativity everywhere. They see black where others see white. Always half empty, never half full. You take them on a walk through the city to take in the air, the sights, the smell of industry and infinite possibility. But they don't get it, do they? Like a mangy little dog with a spasming sphincter, they just shit all over everything. Whining, complaining, the streets are too loud, taxi drivers are idiots, why don't people watch where they're going? <coughs> a non-stop, endless hurdy-gurdy of wine that makes you want to cut off their air supply with a mallet. You find yourself taking chances crossing the street in the hope that they get hit by a bus. But that doesn't happen, does it? Because whiners are survivors. Somehow they always get into every crevice of our existence. Get rid of that friend. They only serve to prove the rule. They are somebody obsessed with the past, with better times. Never mind that they were just as miserable then as they are now. They are unable to reframe what they feel, forever doomed to see tomorrow as today, and yesterday as a better version of something that will never happen anyway. They are toxic friends. They only see what they want to see. And they see fear, misery, stale chaos everywhere. They are dementors with a smug, self-fulfilled sense of despair. They failed to aspect. But you are different. You understand the malleable nature of memory. For instance, you remember a movie that was really, really funny? You remember laughing so hard at that one scene that you were crying out loud. You suddenly see that it's available to rent. It's been a while since you've seen it, but you convince your partner to watch it again with you. Because they're going to laugh so hard they'll wet themselves. But the film isn't funny at all. You can't figure out why you ever thought it was that funny in the first place. Even worse, that scene that you used to tell everybody about over and over again? It was nothing like you remembered it. In fact... It was really stupid. The version you remembered was much, much funnier. This happens to everyone because memory isn't real. Every time you retrieve a memory, you color it, make it better, and then store it that way until the next time, again and again, like a cheap whore. If you do this long enough, you change the memory completely. This is the power of aspecting. We can use this technique to confound the present and reframe the past, erase the parts we disagree with, confounding the mind into a new reality. Perhaps you are a skeptic. You think erasing the past is somehow disingenuous, or worse, dangerous. But what past? Whose past? The you that was there ten years ago? 
or the you that is here right now, trying to recall what it was. There is no actual past. It is a figment of our imagination and false memory. In the end, remember this. None of us remember how anything actually happened. All our memories are to varying degrees false impressions of our stimuli. We had feelings that made us choose what to see, what to record, and how to preserve that memory. Other people remember things differently. From other points of view, memory is not inviolate. In fact, it is terribly fragile and fallible, like an egg containing the slippery yolk of existence. But this is what makes aspecting so wonderful and so powerful. Be creative. Inherently aspect. Manifest your destiny into the one that you deserve. This concludes our three-step understanding of serendipity and how you can entertain fate, rehearse opportunity, and aspect your way to a greater manifest destiny. Please deposit more money.